So what was it? What was the final stroll? Well, there's no one answer to that. And there was no final stroll. It was a long journey leaving Islam. And for most ex-Muslims, it's been a complicated one as well. Um, there's a lot of back and forth and there is a lot of guilt associated with it. Everything that you've been taught from a very young age is now no more the beliefs that you accept. And everything that you thought was right is suddenly now opening to its true meaning, which is not the right one for you. And it's always really hard because there's a lot that comes into play here. There is your family, there are your friends, there is the way you've left, lived your life and the way you've um, associated with people, the identity you've had. Um, a lot is at stake when you have to give up your faith. Um, and there isn't one answer and it's never easy. And you know, for most of us, we tried reading more about it so we could actually stay in the religion, but it didn't really work out that way, did it? Um, well, you know, um, I recently met a girl in Norway who's from Somalia and an ex-Muslim, and we, she reminded me of how hard it was to leave religion and how, she, you know, from a young age, she had stopped believing, but she tried really hard, started wearing the niqab and then the jibab, and, you know, in the end, she was like, nah, this isn't for me. And I think I went through a similar phase as well, where when I was 16, 17, I uh, tried wearing my hijab properly, like putting my hair in um, instead of showing it um, or wearing the abaya. Um, and then it finally just occurred to me that, hey, maybe I don't want to wear a hijab. And I took it off. And then it was only in my later early 20s that I actually left Islam. And it wasn't easy. There was a lot to lose. There was, there was a lot of debunking. That idea that I had of Islam was suddenly broken down by many other people. Um, and I read the books where my, like, I read the books myself and I could not and did not want to be associated with a religion. And, you know, well, basically the first people I told were my family. And that wasn't easy. It was over a chat that, you know, just, that's a whole nother story, but I think it's important for you to come into peace with who you are and what you believe in. And it's not one final step. It, it's not, it's not as easy as one day you woke up and you're like, no, this is it. This is what I'm doing. It took me a while. It took me a few good weeks and months to kind of, um, come into peace with it myself. Um, and it is really hard and it is really painful and there is no easy way. And, you know, you question it a lot and you can't tell somebody about your doubts until, um, unless you're, um, you have a support network who can cater to those doubts. And then there are questions like, who's going to support me after? And we have ex Muslim support groups, which is great, but you still don't know about it because you're not an ex Muslim yet. And you, are battling what your life will be after, um, especially the idea of hell. Um, I never liked it, but you know, you were taught that people who leave religion are going to go to hell. And obviously you've been brought up from, you know, you've been brought up thinking like that from a very young age. And it's likely that you are going to think like that um, about yourself when you leave. Um, I guess the only advice I can give with this is to embrace it, embrace the change, embrace that it's going to be hard embrace that it's it's not going to be an easy journey even when you do come out in public but the first thing you need to do is come out to yourself and i think once you've kind of let the idea settle within you um before you tell external sources it really helps when people interrogate you and ask you why and you know make you feel like you've betrayed them or many of them will gaslight you and then let's not even get started on the online abuse when you come to social media and talk about it um i would recommend the healthiest thing to do is before you go to social media or before you tweet it out or become an activist before you get any of the attacks just try living your life and settling with that thought first um tell only trusted friends who can support you you are, it is a long journey and you are going to lose a lot of people. Maybe, unfortunately, that is the reality. Well, I hope not, but even though it doesn't change who you are and the person you are, 
a lot of people will shun you. Um, and I hope it's not, I hope that one day we'll live in a world where that's not the reality, where people can accept you for who you are and people will um, embrace those differences and still see you as a human rather than a sinner. Um, but, you know, at the moment right now, I do understand it is hard and it is um, it is definitely a leap that you'll be taking and suddenly your life will change in this few weeks or days or months and everything that you have been brought up with, you will see it differently even when you're going to the toilet or when you're eating or what you're eating and how conscious you are with it. Um, there is a lot of unlearning to do and sadly that doesn't happen overnight or over months. I still do it even after years. There are things that I never thought about that sometimes I look at it and I'm like, huh, I was taught from a very young age that this was wrong, but apparently it's not the way that I was taught or maybe that I always saw these things as being right, but it doesn't fit into my values where I don't think apostates, gay people or blasphemers or um you know people who leave the religion and talk about it should be punished um or women not getting equal rights um so i don't know if any of this helps but you're not alone and there are people you can talk to um maybe on reddit uh, maybe go anonymously post up your thoughts um but it was never one final step it was always back and forth and it's always like that with everyone it takes us it takes us years and sometimes <laughs> months and days or longer um to get into like you know to accept that um but i guess you just have to embrace the change and it is a slow journey so don't be pushed or pulled by any side except for yourself do it for you any ex like, any exploration has to be for you whether you decide to stay in the religion or leave it has to be done for you and for your values, not because other people have asked you to leave or other people have asked you to stay because, you know, it makes your iman, it's your iman that's weaker and that's why you want to leave. Um, but do it, do it because you want to do it and don't pressure yourself. Um, this is your journey. This is your life. And I know it'll be exhausting when you're a closeted ex-Muslim and you have to live a double life, but it's still a lot better than um living a lie at least at least for me it was um but it took me years to come out so just embrace losing your faith and see where it takes you it's going to be hard but you have all of us to support you